hello and welcome back to my channel if you have been a little bit eager eyed you will have noticed that i haven't been in this space for some time if you're new to my channel a few months back i made a video on converting my garage to a studio space and i will link that in the description box below so this is pretty much all of my art stuff here and in these drawers here and as you can see there's some paintings and bits and bobs on top there that I just don't know what to do with. My shelves aren't looking too bad. I'm not sure whether to leave this in here for now. I think I will use this space maybe for like messy work that I don't want to do in my house but this is the current situation of my studio space and it's looking a little bit unloved and neglected. I'm going to show you where I have been working for the last few months. This is the little studio space that I have been using which is in my house. It's next to a window and it is just one of my spare bedrooms. It is quite a small space and I'm not the tidiest of people when it comes to my artwork. So as you can see around here I just have got a lot of stuff building up in the room and on the windowsill. I'm going to be using this little bookcase. I have painted it white. It was originally a pine and it was quite an old pine bookcase so it has started to look a little bit orange. So I've just given it a nice fresh look with white paint. Now the little containers that I have are these ones here. I picked these up from Ikea. These ones were £1.50 each which is an absolute bargain. These will look really nice just against that white shelf there. I also picked up these ones from ikea with a lid and i think these ones were slightly more expensive with the lid i think they worked out about two pounds so all in all fairly inexpensive for my bookshelf i got four with the lid and then i bought eight of this type of container because they will be really useful just to quickly grab things from so i can fit three across here there's a small gap in the side there which i think will be fine i can always add paintbrushes and pots to those areas so i'm going to do three on each shelf and then just see how how that will all fill out. So this is just my layout for now. I might change that. We'll see how it goes. But they all fit on there really quite nicely and it gives me a little bit of space in between each of those little boxes so that I can just add bits in between if I want to. In terms of where to get started, I I think I'm going to tidy up in here first so I know how much space I have left on the bookshelf and what I can leave out in the garage and then I can work out what I want to bring in if anything else. So let's try and do this. I think it's going to take me quite some time but I think it will be worth it. So I have lots of things like these canvas boards and I'm going to see if I can fit all of those in one of my little storage boxes. They fit okay kind of upright like that. I prefer them that way, however they don't fit. So I'm going to just have them there like that for now. So I'm just going to place them here for now. I'll probably end up moving them all around later. Maybe I'll swap them over in that side. But that's a first thing in one of the boxes. Okay, I also have all of my clay stuff. Oh, a really heavy bag of clay, which I'm going to place on there. It was just underneath my desk over there and it was looking an absolute mess. I don't use the clay all the time, so I'm going to place it on the bottom shelf along with all of the tools and I'll probably tidy those away in one of the boxes with the lids just because it's not something I'm going to reach for all that much. If you want a video on some other clay ideas, let me know in the comments. Oh, it's so heavy though. Okay, and then in this box, I'm going to place my clay tools. It's gonna be a bit of a tight squeeze. There we go. One of the main reasons that I wanted to tidy up in here is because I was actually getting to the point where I couldn't really find any of my art materials or everything was just being left 
on the floor and I just was feeling like I didn't want to work in here or in the garage so it was a real time for me just to get everything organized and sorted out as best as possible just because it was getting a little bit too overwhelming with how untidy everything is. I'm only going to place a few of my sketchbooks on this shelf and I'm going to leave them here because I like to keep my paper flat so that my paper doesn't warp at all so I'm going to leave these two sketchbooks here and then I think I'm going to place some paper underneath this little mini guillotine so again it doesn't warp it doesn't misshape it's kept nice and flat over time I might buy some drawers for my paper to go in but for now they can just sit here so they will stay there for now. I might move things around, but I'm quite pleased with how it's all coming together so far. One thing I do need a suggestion for is what to do with all of my old pieces of artwork that I have created for videos. I don't really tend to do all that much with them. They end up just like going into a pile and then I'm not sure what to do with them and then they just kind of hang around for a little bit. So yeah, let me know what you think I ought to do with these, whether you've got any suggestions for like a nice album or a portfolio that you would recommend. This is the state of the little trolley for now. It's looking a bit better some bits I have moved out over onto my shelves and I'm pleased with how it's all tidying up so far. So the current situation with my windowsill is this. I've got a little rubbish bin here and then I've got my pens here in a mug and then loads of paintbrushes just spooled out across this entire work surface amongst other bits and bobs that need to be organized. I'm going to transfer all of the paintbrushes and the pens that are in that pot into this part here, into the top of my trolley. So it's really nice and easy to grab those as I'm going. So this is how it's currently looking. I've got a few different containers with my paintbrushes in. So I have got this one here, which has got older paintbrushes in and a larger paintbrush, and then also some palette knives. We've got another container here. I just keep any old jam jars and things like that for paintbrushes. So I've got newer paintbrushes in these ones. So I've got some fine paintbrushes. I've got ones that I picked up from the range, which are a unicorn style paintbrush and then acrylic paintbrushes and then just these ones that I picked up from Amazon. And then in my mug I've got some pens but I think I'm going to organize this because I want to put all of my felt tips and marker pens and things like that in a different area because they're not things that I use all that often. I'm going to leave this bottom part of my trolley as is so it's just got some larger tubes of acrylic paints, it's got some spray adhesive, PVA glue, hairspray and lacquer and things like that in this one. I'm just going to leave this as is. Okay now I'm pretty certain on the space that I've got left upstairs in the studio space in the spare bedroom. I can now have a look through on what I want to take upstairs. So things like my rulers that are hanging up here will be very handy. I've got some alcohol markers out here that I'm going to take inside. I'm going to grab a few bits from here to take upstairs and we will organise it. So these are some of the bits that I've bought in from the garage. I've got my little G sign palette. I've got some mini canvases, alcohol markers, pastels. So I've got some oil pastels and soft pastels. My set square and rulers, some more spray adhesive, masking tape, and a cutting mat. So I'm going to organise all of this and then I'm going to get my desk sorted. Shelves behind me are coming on quite well so I'm now going to turn my attention to the desk and I actually bought a marble effect contact paper for the desk just to make it look a little bit nicer to give me a better area to film along and also because my desk is starting to pick up a lot of wear and tear and I just wanted to give it a new fresh lease of life really. So I bought my contact paper from Amazon. I will link it below in the description box but it was the largest contact paper I could find on that to cover the desk. Okay let's open this up. I haven't looked at it yet so hopefully it's actually going to be what I want. Not dark or anything like that but we'll see. I'm gonna keep this tube as well because that will come in really handy. Okay so here we go. We've got design, folio, 
DC Fix paper and I've gone for a matte marble effect and it's a light, a very, very light gray. And then the back is adhesive. So it's got a cutting guide and also instructions on the back side of the paper. I've got method in the wild rhubarb. I'm going to spray that over my desk, give it a good clean, and then I'll let that dry before adding that contact paper. I'm now going to get started with my contact paper and I'm going to add that to my desk and I have allowed my desk to fully dry. Let's add this to the desk. little position I'm going to finish this off I've just got one more side to stick down to my table and then I will be done I just got to trim the edges because I don't want them to look bulky or really obvious just finished the contact paper on the desk and I'm really pleased with how it's looking. I think it looks really, really good. It definitely elevates the desk a little bit. Given that it was a very cheap desk, this is a really inexpensive way just to make it look that much better. This is how it currently looks and it's just got this very light marble effect to it. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. I'm really pleased with that. So I think that this will just be a really nice background for those top view videos where I am painting and things like that. It will just give a nice background. Now that the desk is fully finished and I have got that contact paper on it, I'm now going to be using my label maker that I bought to create some labels for all of the boxes on the back there. I think having the labels on everything will just help me to keep organized and tidy and making sure that I just put everything back in its place where it belongs. So that's why I'm going to be labeling all of those boxes up and I think that the label will also just look really nice. I will link everything in the description box if you're interested in buying any of these items as well. So I went for the Dymo Junior Embosser with my label maker and it cost me £10 and it also comes with a black reel of the tape in here as well. I don't think I'll need much more than this just for my labels for the boxes. Also you can see my new marble effect tabletop and I think that it looks really good so far. So that will go on the boxes and I think that will look super cute. So I've made up lots of different labels here to go on the front of my boxes. So it does create a little handy area for you to pull that off. And then it's just got a sticky back. There we go. I think that looks so nice on there. This one clearly is labeled to say coloring pencils. So we have got all of these ones filled now. So we've got pens, we've got pastels and alcohol markers. And each of those have been labeled with that Dymo label maker. So I've tried to get all of those labels to sit within the same sort of area on each of those boxes. So in this section, I've then got colouring pencils, I've got watercolours, and then I have got acrylic tubes. And then I've got canvases, canvas boards, and mini canvases in that one, and mediums for watercolour and acrylics in this one. 
I've got some of my sketchbooks. I'm going to leave the other sketchbooks out in the garage. I've just popped a couple of bits in this box. I've got the label maker in there. I've got a little egg carton ready for when I want to make that egg holder with my clay. I've got some more paper and a little guillotine. My clay tools here. And then these two boxes, I've actually um, not got anything in those just yet. So those will be used up in no time, I'm sure, because I will be doing some more hauls coming up in my videos. So if you're excited to see those, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those ones. So I am almost finished in here for now. I just need to clean up on the floor. There's a big pile of rubbish there. And then I want to vacuum in here and just give the room a good clean. The bed behind me is a spare bed. So nobody really ever uses this bed. So we are thinking about maybe getting rid of this bed and then having the whole room as sort of an office slash art studio space, which I think will be a really good use of this space. So nice and bright and airy in here, which is perfect for when I'm painting because it gives me such good light to work in. In terms of this space, I think I'm going to leave it here for today and then come back to this in a future video. And I will show you my process on organizing this space fully. Let me know in the comments what you think I ought to do with this space. I've still got all of these drawers to organize. I've got boxes here and bags and things like this. This all needs organizing. Welcome to my studio. watching today's video of me organizing all of my art materials if you have give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button it really does help my channel out loads let me know in the comments if you want to see how I organize my garage studio space and I can document that whole process for you to see how I can make that a usable space again for over the summer months thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>